How are we doing, everybody? This is that R nerd back at you with an incredible R tutorial on how to sort multiple columns within R, the greatest programming language of all time. What we're going to use today is a package or a library called Tidyverse. So if you don't have that, make sure to download it. This is really like the best package there is anywhere. It comes with dplyr and ggplot and all these like modern R computing. Uh, packages all stuffed into one and you, it's just the best you have to use it and one of the things it includes is an easy way to sort multiple columns or even single columns within R and so we're gonna make a little dummy data set here we're gonna set a seed so you can copy along and have the same data set that I'm gonna use here so we'll make a data set called patron and we'll give it a few variables put it into a data frame uh, so let's say the patron variable is equal to, and then we'll just do a sample um, of A, B, C, and D. We want it to be 20 long, our sample, and replace is equal to uh, true. And so just to go through what this is doing here real quick, we're doing a sample, we're giving it a, a vector of values that it's going to sample out of. Right, we're gonna take 20 draws out of this urn, I guess you could say, statistically. <laughs> and uh, replace is equal to true, because if we don't put them back in after, then you're gonna do four pulls and then there's gonna be nothing left, right? So we need to put these back in when we sample them. Um, and so just to show you what this does here, this little chunk, right, it samples A, B, C, and D 20 times. Okay, so then we're gonna do sales. And for this, we just want some random values. And so I'm gonna do a R norm. And so this is gonna take a random normal value. Um, and we want 20 of them. And then we're gonna take it from a distribution with a mean of tw uh, a mean of 100, all right? So it's centered around 100 with a standard deviation of 20. And so just to show what this does here. All right, so a random normal is pulling out 20. And it should be centered around 100 with an SD of 20. Okay. And then we want uh, just something else just to show along that it's, kind of, it's sorting all the other columns as well. So we'll just do a rando Cartesian. And we'll do another sample here. Give it our sample vector. And we'll just throw in some random stuff here. So we'll do A, AO, technology. AO technology. All right. And we want to take 20 samples out of here, right? We want these all to be the same, the same size, all these vectors we're making. And of course, we're going to want to throw these, these uh, samples back in. Okay. So let's make our data set here. <clears throat> and let's set the seed first. So highlight all that stuff. So we all have the same one. Okay. Patron. Um, so this is our, our data frame here. So we have our patron, uh, what they bought in sales, and then just some random thing next to it. Okay, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is make this a, a tibble, which is what dplyr uses to do their data manipulation, and really it's just the best thing of all time a tibble is. So we'll say patron, and then we'll say tibble df patron. So this is gonna take our data frame object and turn it into a tibble. And uh, it really doesn't look all that different, but um, it has a lot of really nice properties and I use it all the time. Uh, okay, and so now we're gonna want to arrange these um, multiple columns. So we'll say patron, and then in dplyr, this is, a, this is a pipe. And so we're taking our patron data frame or our patron tibble we made, and we're piping it into the arrange function. And so what we do is our first column that we want to arrange, we'll put there and then a comma and we'll separate it and we'll put our second column next. So what uh, we'll do here is we'll sort patron alphabetically. So that's another nice property, it just sorts it alphabetically if it's a factor or numerically if it's a number, right? So we'll say uh, alphabetically biggest to smallest or A to Z and then sales biggest to smallest. So if we do a range, and then patron, right? 
So we're arranging by our patron column here. That's going to sort A, B, C, D, right? But these sales aren't sorted as well. So maybe we want to go highest to lowest in sales. So we order it by patron and then what, what is the most that they've bought? Um, and so the, the default way is it's going to go smallest to biggest when it sorts. But we want to go biggest to smallest, so we're going to have to throw a D, E, S, C. So a descending around whatever our variable is. In this case, it's sales. And there you have it. There it is. We have the patrons, uh, smallest to biggest, A to, A to Z, and then our sales, biggest to smallest for each of those variables. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to press like so other people can find this video and uh, subscribe if you want to see just the best R content that's available on the, uh, the website of YouTube. Thank you for your time. See ya.